Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mile High Huddle. Welcome back to Raider Maven. Welcome back to SI All Trojan. Welcome into the Horseshoe Huddle here at Sports Illustrated. I am your host, Kim Becker. All right, guys, we're playing a little bit of Would You Rather with Sam Darnold here. So, Sam, would you rather have every dog try to attack you every single time that they see you or every bird try to attack you every single time they see you? Oh, man. Uh, I mean, what kind of birds are we talking? Every single bird. And then every dog? That you'd ever see. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably go dog. Dog, Because okay. the dog is probably, they got like an owner and they could probably restrain it. <laughs> Whereas like a bird could just attack you and then never stop, so. That's a good point. Roger Federer fell to Spain's Pablo Andujar in three sets, 6-4, 4-6, 6-4 in the second round of the Geneva Open on Tuesday. This was just the third match that Federer has played in the ATP Tour this year as he has been recovering from two knee surgeries that he underwent in 2020. It was a pretty even battle, but in a match-deciding set, Federer forced a service break and led 4-2 until Andujar stormed back and took the final set 6-4. And joining me is ESPN college football analyst, Jim Mora Jr. Jim, we're going to jump right into this and talk about the whole quarterback situation with the Denver Broncos. Obviously, the media, fan bases, even the team has been wondering if Drew Locke is going to be the guy here for the 2021 season. So in your opinion, what do you think the Denver Broncos should do? Well, Tuesday is an exciting day for frugal dessert fans. They have a shot at a free bunt cake. On April 9th, Nothing Bunt Cakes will be celebrating its 300th store opening by giving away 300 cakes at 3 p.m. The catch? You only have 300 seconds to take advantage of the deal. I just want to comment on one more thing before we wrap this up. You guys really had some interesting outfit choices this morning. I want to touch on Hondo's shirt here. He just came straight from the strip in Vegas, I assume. But Matt, what, what are you wearing there? You really dressed up for us. <laughs> Novak Djokovic is out here breaking records at the Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne, Australia, as he defeats Daniil Medvedev in the final match of the Australian Open this weekend. This brings Novak Djokovic to 59 big titles in his history, which is three more than Rafael Nadal has with 56, and five more than Roger Federer, as he has claimed 54. His only winning season was in 2015 with the Jets. Also, the irony right there with the Jets. Yeah, um, that was his 10th season in the league, right? Fitzpatrick started in 2005, so that's 10 seasons in. It was his first winning season, and then you're comparing his sacks and his interceptions, those stats, to Drew Locke. Like you said, this is Drew Locke's second season. We're going into his potentially third season with the Denver Broncos. So definitely, guys, when you're looking at it, just numbers right there and the stats, I mean – yeah, there's no comparison. All right, gentlemen, I could talk about food all night. I promise you that, but I'm going to ask you one more question. The Lawndale Cardinals are taking on the Santa Monica Vikings here at home during this conference matchup. The Cardinals are going into the game with a 0-2 league record, but are 12-7 and overall, and are looking to secure a win following their loss to Polytechnic over the weekend. Sometimes those underrated players, I mean, they're the ones that just shoot up there. And like you said, they he might not wow you right now, but it'll be that surprise, right? Oh, absolutely. Head coach Clay Helton did speak after the game to the media, saying that this was an emotional loss for his team. These guys put their heart and soul into the game and that he was about to go console his team. It was an unfortunate loss for them. They were trying to go 1-0 and on the week as they have been going all season, but unfortunately they just could not get the W in the Pac-12 championship game. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it is that flame sitting in Allegiant Stadium. I know that all of us want to be able to see people. Under Kimberly! You see what I did I there? think you've done this a few times before. What a segue. Thank you very much. I'm learning. Okay. All right, everybody, and that is what we like to hear. Jim Moore live from Los Angeles at ESPN. Thank you so much for joining us. That just better include a welcome drink. You know, I want, like, Mickey Mouse with a tray of champagne. I'm Kim Becker. Go Dodgers! Alright, I'll leave it.